Beside me is Jessica Elekoro. She's been having inguinoscrota ania, that is swelling around the groin. She wants to share her testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Jessica Elekura. First of all, let me thank the Lord for the spirit of boldness. It happened on the first day of the program. I was having this severe pain, hernia. So when I went to, uh, at my place, when I went, I was at home. So I was about to wait, and I told my mom that I'm having this pain, oh, that she could not listen to me, say, let's pray together. So after the prayer, the pain was so severe. So when I, it was so severe, I could not even tell her. I went to the hospital, I explained to the doctor. After examining the test, they now told me that, ah, they didn't have ripe, oh, that if they did not operate me, I would die, oh. I was afraid of dying. I said, God, what will I do? I don't even want them to operate me. How can I do? And I was preparing for a welding. That was September. So after everything, I went home, I told my mom, she said that no, she, she will not go there and sign for me. That She told me that I should have faith. I told her, okay, mommy, I, will, I have the faith. So the pain was so severe, even my husband, I, I don't even want to tell him, because each time I tell him, he'll be worried and everything. So after everything, I came to the program. After the man of God prayed, I've got my healing the first day. But he said, I told him, he said, I should come out and testify. I was like, hi, I will not be able to face the cloud because of the shame. I could not come out. But I thank God for the spirit of boldness. Thank you, Daddy. So, amen. Amen. Please, what's the conclusion of the story now? Our medical consultant, what's the conclusion of that story? There is a swelling around a groin that disappeared the first day the program started. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Scrota on air disappeared. Amen. When you give your testimony, please make it clear so we can celebrate more. Now the next testify. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beside me is Pastor Mrs. OKDG. She's been having what we call malhagia. That's muscle pains around her upper hands and shoulder. So she wants to share her testimony. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. Have come to share this testimony to the glory of the Lord and to the shame of the enemy. The Bible says that they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Your name I am and just address. hearing the name of what they said is, uh, it has troubled me now. I don't even know the name. But I know for some time, I have been feeling this serious pain, like wound on my shoulders. But as the man of God came yesterday and he prayed for us, and I decided to wait to the end of the program while others were giving their testimony. I said, me also, I will have, I will have victory over this particular thing that I've been going and I've been praying and I've been coming and going back. So all of a sudden, as at the time I was in the program, I could not fold my two hands back, this, especially this hand, fold it back like, like this. But before I left last night, and as I was going, as I went back home, I was checking. I discovered that I can fold my hand properly. Apart from this, because I am a pastor, as our daddy normally have this global harvest program on, uh, uh, from time to time, from place to place. We normally follow online. Really, I got home, I told my husband, I had testimony. He said he also had testimony because he actually watched online. Whenever we have our member also to connect to us, uh, testimony of uh, pain gone, blindness gone, and so many other things have been following this particular program. I pray that in the name of Jesus, the Lord will sustain our dear Father to the end and this ministry in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! Amen! Praise the Lord! 
Beside me is Nwori Chioma. She was actually diagnosed to be having peptic ulcer disease. That is, she's been having excruciating pain as a result of ulcer in her stomach. She wants to share her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Nwori Chioma. I'm from Gates Group, Idiakwe District. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. Year 2019, I, feel I started feeling this pain in my stomach, and it's so, so painful. So I discussed to my mom, we went to the hospital. So when we get to the hospital, the doctor was able to let me to know that I have ulcer. And I was like, how did I have this ulcer? Everybody around me was like, you eat every time, not that you're a type that doesn't eat. So I said, ah, is, this one is too much. Oh. So there's prescribed drug for me. I use the drug. If I sometimes, if I save little money, I'll use it to buy the drug. So at this point, I get tired. I can't get drug again, so I stop. So since then, it was not giving me this chest pain to the extent that whenever I want to sleep, I will need to cry. I will need to cry seriously that ah, this thing will start again, and it will be paining me. In fact, so there is sometimes that it pain me that I go to my mom and say, my mom, this pain is getting too much. She only, the only thing that she will tell me is, sorry, it will be well. But during this program of Divine Touch in Enugu, I went, I prayed, and I tell God that this, God, this pain is getting too much because I don't know where the pain comes from. I can't tell the root of the pain. As in, the root of what caused the ulcer, I can't tell. So I tell God that this pain, I must not go with it again. So after the prayer, the man of God prayed, and I believed. So right, as in from that, after that program, till date now, I never sleep nor cry for any pain of chest pain again. Praise the Lord! Four years of agony. Stop tonight. Amen. Uh, we want to join our viewers online because something spectacular has been happening online. Let's join them now online. Please come on. We have great things happening online because the celebration of total freedom cannot cease. We have several we are going to take um, from different locations. But before that, we have this one coming in from Enugu. Um, it's the testimony coming from Ungbo local government of uh, the, uh, the core members who organized the Rural Rugged in line with the Total Freedom Crusade. And right there, in that venue where the program is on, there's this testimony of an old woman who, um, who was partially paralyzed and couldn't walk without an aid. But as the prayer of the man of God was going on, she threw away a walking stick. She started leaping up, jumping, dancing for joy because she got her freedom and now she can walk. Before we go on. If you are clapping, clap very well and celebrate that, that wonderful miracle. While we are experiencing total freedom here, several persons are experiencing total freedom across Africa. All the way from Scotland, UK, um, a brother Samuel is testifying of how God healed him tonight from rashes. He has been experiencing rashes since the beginning of the year. Until after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he laid his hand upon himself as directed, and now he is totally free. We'll take you all the way to Belgium for a testimony. Praise the Lord. I am Sasuriki. Christian Life Ministry, Belgium. I want to give God the glory for the mercy he showed us in the family. Precisely two weeks ago, my husband tested positive for COVID-19. And it so happened that around that time, he had a conversation with our dad, our father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kimi. And when dad heard that he had tested positive to COVID-19, that prayed for him. And afterwards, he repeated the test and that's how everything recorded negative. Shortly after that, the boys brought COVID, they picked COVID from school. 
and they came home with it. Unfortunately, I picked it. And with me, the symptoms were a bit severe. I stayed off work, even though I worked from home. I couldn't uh, stay in work. And um, again, it so happened that dad and my husband were having a conversation and he learned that we had been down with COVID because the boys still couldn't go to school. So that uh, reached out, he, he prayed. He prayed with me that night, I remembered, and then he prayed for the entire family. And after that prayers, the Lord in his mercy confirmed that by granting every one of us healing. And today, to the glory of God, we are completely free from COVID-19. Praise the Lord. And that is an evidence that COVID-19 is still bowing to the power of God. We'll take you now to Congo for another wonderful thing that God is doing. Congo, coming up now. Je me nomme le frère Fiston Bongongo. Je suis en République démocratique du Congo. Je suis des districts de Kingabwa. J'avais une tumeur ici au niveau de mon dos. Ça fait plus de 5 ans. Il s'est fait qu'au programme de l'explosion des miracles de décembre passé, le surétendant avait dit pendant la prière, celui qui est malade, il peut poser sa main sur cette place, c'est ce qui avait fait que moi je puisse poser ma main derrière, euh, sur cette tumeur-là. Et juste après la prière, je suis devant vous ici pour témoigner que cette tumeur n'existe plus, ça a disparu. Praise the Lord. I'm Paul Brodafiston Mungungu from Congo, Kinshasa, Republic Democratic of Congo, Kinshasa, district of Kingabua. I'm here to, before you to testify the greatness of the Lord. I was having a tumor at my right side, and the tumor had been there for five years. I consulted my medical friends, and they, they said that it's a tumor, they are just studying it. But during the last program we had, the December Explosions of Miracle, as after the GS message, asked us to place our hand where we are feeling pain, we're having problem. I laid my hand there, and he prayed, and that tumor just disappeared in my life, and I'm here to testify before you all. Praise the Lord. We still have several more testimonies of the power of God waiting all the way from Auchi. We have some from Wari. We'll be taking them live, but now we'll return to the state of Asia. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's hear all. Another testimony now. Praise the Lord. Beside me is Timothy Tamilore. Tanimawo. Sometime he suffered a foreign body in his eyes and a pleuritic chest pain. That is, when he wants to breathe in, at some point he will hold the breath because of pain when breathing. So he wants to share the testimony of what God has done for him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Testimony Timothy Tanimowo from Apata South. Last year, November, the Wonders of the Cross Global Crusade, uh, I went there, but on Friday, I suddenly, I suddenly discovered that, you know, I was going and then something just, you know, um, came into my eyes. I started itching the high. You know, normally when you itch your high, you know, you leave it and... But this one was recording what it was going on, and I was itching, itching, and itching. Now, you would not know if you look at me that something is happening, but deep inside me, it was an internal pain. So, when we went to the global crusade, pastor prayed, and I received my healing, it was not itching me again. Now, uh, the miracle explosion crusade at Lagos also, uh, the one the doctor described now, I suddenly found out that when I, want, when I bend down and I want to breathe in, there is a chest pain. And, but after the final amen, I received my healing. Truly, the Lord is healing major sicknesses, major um, diseases. It's also healing minor and small, small diseases. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ.
Amen. Another testify. Beside me is Ogunwale Ayobami. He's been having excruciating abdominal pain. He wants to share his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, children of God. I give glory to the name of God for what God did in my life. For a year now, I've been having this abdominal pain, which is a very severe one. And I give glory to the name of God because what I cannot do, I can do it now. It has to happen that throughout last year, I have this abdominal pain, which I cannot fast. I cannot do anything. If, to, if, if, if I did not eat for two hours, I will be having this pain. But this thing continue till December. I can't have any, I, I can't do fasting and prayer. But during this great explosion in December, the Lord healed me. And, and I said, okay, if this healing is true, I want to test it. I am on three weeks fasting and prayer now, which I did not feel the pain again. Praise the Lord! Let's listen to another testify. Beside me is Ali Damilola. She's been having severe headache and insomnia, that is, inability to sleep. She wants to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ali Damilola Rachel from Bethel District, Apata South Group. I bless the name of the Lord for what the Lord did for me in this global crusade. For a week now, I've been having a severe headache that anytime I want to sleep, I have to hold my hand. I have to hold my head with my hand. I can't bend. But in this global crusade yesterday, I kept on praying. I told God, God, I need a, an healing from this headache. Four days ago, I could not sleep. I will just be rolling on my bed. I will not be able to sleep. It's either the sleep come around 5 a.m. in the morning or 6 a.m. And any time I wake up in the midnight like that, I will not be able to stand up. It's either I sit for some minutes before I stand up. But yesterday, after the prayer of the man of God, after the last amen, I believed. I was not yet connected online. So when the state of ourselves was like, we should start clapping. I started clapping. I said, God, as I'm clapping, I'm clapping out this headache. And immediately I felt a cold sensation on my head because before it would be as if they are beating a drum on my head. But yesterday I felt a cold sensation. I was like, I'm going to test it. I slept yesterday night just like a baby. No headache, nothing like that. Praise the Lord! Another testify. Then we go online to check what's happening there. Me is Innocent Joy. She's been battling with severe bad ache. She wants to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I am Innocent Joy Marvel from Shaki region. I thank God for the wonderful thing God did in my life yesterday night. In 2007, around September, I had this heat on my back while walking along the streets. Since then, I developed this backache. I couldn't sit for long. I can't really carry heavy weight. So the pain grew worse in 2012 after I had a major surgery. So I was subjected to physiotherapy, and I stopped going after eight months because there is no improvement. I have been placed on different pain relief drugs, tramadol, diclofenac, and there is no difference. But I thank God, yes, tonight, while sitting down on the chair after the program, I slept off. So I woke up, 
around 2 a.m. To my amazement, I've been sitting down all day. I didn't feel the pain. Because if it is a normal day, I can't sleep while sitting down on the chair. Normal Bible study, I don't like sitting in front because when the pain starts, I have to go and stand up at the back. Sometimes I go and lie down outside. But to the glory of the Almighty God, till 2 a.m., this a.m., uh, this morning, I was on my seat. There is no pain. Then after the service in the morning, I sat down to evening program. This is me. I am healthy. I am strong. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now we over to you online. Indeed, there are great testimonies, striking testimonies online. As we begin from Nazareth State of a great salvation and deliverance that was wrought um, during this crusade. Wisdom Silas from Nazareth State is testifying of how God delivered him from smoking. He was born into a Christian home was later converted to Islam and started smoking at the age of seven because his, mom, his mother is a nurse. And so this gave him access to drugs. And um, as time went on, he ran away from home, traveled through various states until he found himself in Nazareth state, living the life of a prodigal son. He lived a hard life until one day he had an encounter and he came back to himself and he started looking for where to find solution. He has hopped from church to church until he entered one of the Deeper Life Bible Church for service. And he met the pastor there, narrated his life, prayers was made for him, but yet he was not completely saved until this crusade, total freedom through faith in Christ Jesus. And after he heard the man of God preached, an altar call was made, prayers was made. He is testifying that he has received the touch of God and he's totally free from smoking. Now he can sleep all throughout the night without smoking. This is someone that smokes a carton of cigarette at night every day before daybreak. Praise the Lord. Multiple stories of prodigal sons returning home. More still to come in Jesus' name. This is coming from Moses Daniel, who says that he received divine touch of salvation during the divine touch crusade. And this morning, after the ministration of the man of God, of uh, talking about sanctification, he said he received a sanctification experience. God is doing great things. We'll take you to Auchi now, Edo State, Nigeria, for a live testimony. Auchi coming in live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Mary from Auchi region. Since 2010, I have been having also. That very year, I went on admission three times. Since that very year, I have been using drugs. First in the morning, I will take drugs. Even in the afternoon, as I, as I eat, I still take other drugs. But glory be to God, since the program held at Abuja last year, June 24, I was totally healed. On the second day of the program, 25th, I went to the church. I went to the program. After the prayer of the man of God, I went to my house. That very day, I still took drugs. But that very day, the second day, 26th, I discovered that the ulcer is gone. Since that day till today, I did not drink any drug. And the ulcer is no longer disturbing me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Delta State Live. Delta 
the leg was paining my son 2015, and the, the leg was paining, uh, taking her to chemist, we buy drugs, drugs is not solving it, we take, her, we take him to hospital, which is a uh, 2000, uh, 2017, well, uh, then when we reach general, and so we go do scan. As we do scan, when there's an operation, that operation we should bring 300,000. Then me not even have 15 naira. Then we bring pray to God. Then after uh, Calabar Global Crusade, the man of God was praying. Then at uh, oh my son, oh yeah, uh, place your hand there. Then after the man of God prayer, one bow shoot out. Then after Uyo, two bow shoot out. After Abuja, long bow shoot out. After that long bow, everything dried up. Praise the Lord. We we'll return to the state of us here now. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was just thinking of running a commentary on that miracle. Look at what God did. There were several bones in that boy's leg that were broken. And it would require 300,000 naira to do operation, to do surgery. The mother said she didn't have even 50 kobo, 50 naira. And then after the prayer of the man of God, one bone came out. Another bone came out. Another bone came out and completed the surgery. That is the miracle of recreation. And now the boy, it's okay, and the leg is back to normal. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together. This is great. I think it's good for us to conclude on this note and then tomorrow will be greater than today because we, as we are going coming closer to the end of the crusade it is getting better 